Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft with me, Tivek. So, let's do what we usually do. This is episode 20. Awesome. So, I've thought a little bit on what I could do for some more EMC generation. Um, I'm going to build a pumpkin farm. Let's um, request up a pumpkin. I should have at least one, yes. And eventually, there we go. The pumpkin is worth 144 EMC. That's not bad. And using forestry... Actually, I'm gonna keep that pumpkin. Using forestry, I can create a pumpkin farm and a harvester. We do need to find melon though, and I don't think I have that yet. Let me see... I don't see any melons. That's a bit sad, but these are melon seeds, so... If I just ask for these, and then... Um, put this one there... And I'm gonna make a little temporary place for them to grow. Wow. Did I have any torches with me? Yes. I got some dirt. And let's grab some glass real quick. And let's head over into this direction. I've left my client star in charge. I might want to pick that one up. Oop. Yeah, I can't double jump without the client star. Whoosh. Oh. So this area down here, I dug it out using the the morning star. It's pretty neat, I tell you. I'm gonna just dig out a little spot. Let's use a wide shot. There, there, and there. It's just a small area. Let's make it wider. I'm going to need... I brought with me the item teleport pipe and the request pipe down here. Look, I got an enderman in my base. Oh, there we have that bug again. Seems to fix itself if I log out and log in again, and depending on where I am when I log out... Yeah. So I'm gonna need to make myself... I'm gonna grab one of these, and... Uh, I might as well just grab two iron ingots. And... Uh, another one of these. Yes, I need one of those. Also, I am going to grab... Do I have water somehow that I can place down? No, I don't. That sucks. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How to do this then? I'm gonna grab a bucket or two. But let's place down the dirt, and I'm gonna need some more, I see about that. Yeah, and I'm out. There we go, and the water goes here. And uh, more glass. And I usually make a glass construction like this so that I can't accidentally step on the stems. Which would suck. So we need pumpkins and melons. And this, mind you, is all temporary stuff. So let me get some water and I'll be right back. Here I am, bucket in hand. And... Uh, and we have a nice little... There we go. Water area there. 
Now I'll till these. Perfect. And these are the only melons that we have. But we have plenty of pumpkin seeds. So let's make three of these. That'll have to do. Perfect. So now I can't step on them by accident. We'll replace this with an automated uh, farm later once this starts producing. But now... Let's head over to our frame quarry. And... Uh, just gonna dump off some of this stuff, clear out my inventory, and uh, I'll meet you over there. And I've just requested up a couple of stone bricks. I can't quite remember how many, but I figured I need to repair the house after my little incident. But, yeah. That's quite enough of these. Let me just fix this real quick. I mean, I could do this using the... using that mercurial eye, but... eh. A little bit of fun building. Perfect. So, I think I have what I need for the computer. So let's uh, crash land up here. We are going to need to set up two support frames. I'll put it there and there. And I'll grab the computer stuff from the bag. I have the CPU, the monitor. I crafted myself an 8K ROM module, but I don't think I'm going to need it. So, Anyhow, let's knock that one off. Perfect. The CPU will go there. And this is the disk drive. I can place it there. The monitor goes there. And the IO expander goes there. Uh, it turns out I didn't need to knock that one. So let's get some more bundled cable. There we go. Now, from my green bag. Let's, um, I have this disk, the quarry, but here's the thing. I am not going to use that one. I'm going to start over, sort of, but I'm going to get a new blank disk because that's a test disk that I used uh, with a lot of strange commands in it. Let me request up seven wood and a single iron ingot. Perfect. Awesome, a blank floppy. Alrighty. Hmm, let's see. Let's uh, get the fourth boot disk. Now that's the quarry one, so let's not use that, but that's the fourth one. And I put it there and it automatically gives me the blank floppy. So let's start the computer, see the light come on on the disk drive, and we have 600 bytes free, mine OS version 1.1. All right, guys, this is where the fun part starts. Everything is bundled up with cables, so I should be able to start tinkering with the delays and everything on these. I don't think I need to have oh, quite as long delay as I have put on these. Okay, that could have been interesting. Yeah, I don't think I need to have that long delay, but we'll see. What I also wanted to do is make sort of a sort of like this so that whenever you get pulled around you will get stopped by these. I don't know if it works. We'll try. So into the iOS. Um, now here's the thing with this. I can pop out the disk and put the new one in and we have 
a fresh blank disk. I can check... No, I can't. Uh, I would need a memory module to actually read what's in that disk. So let's not do that. Let's clear it out instead. So, we need to set a couple of commands. I think that we are going to call them bore up for the bore head to go up. So let's do that's on number one, yeah. Just to be safe, actually, let me just quickly find something that I have in a nice little bookmark here. There is a command that you can create that is, let's call it uh, motor. Okay? What this one should do is to dupe iox set ticks iox reset ticks. Now, this is where the cool stuff starts because I can now create a command which does 21 motor which will run head up for 20 ticks switch off and wait 20 ticks I don't think you could see it there but yeah that's fine so let's try 22 motor that should have moved the whole head down by one and it did awesome and that should be repeatable. Let's um, let's try that. Let's do twenty-two motor again to send it down, like so. It should now be as far down as it can go. Now I can go down one more. Let's do that. 22 motor. This way I can easily check how things go. Okay, well, it stopped, so that means it has something below and can't go further down. You're not serious. That didn't block, did it? Let me check. 22 motor. No, it <laughs> It did block. Oh well. Now let's do a couple of times up. I'm gonna do like that so that we can actually see. So let's do four times 21 motor. No, you can't do that. Okay, well, four up. We define that as 21 motor. And that's all. Let's do that with bore down. That's 22 motor. Bore left. That's 24 motor. Bore right. 28 motor. Perfect. Now, four times bore up. Two, three, and then it stops. It tries, though. Let's do three times bore down. It should move it down to three. Awesome. It does lag a little bit. I think that's Optifine, but I'm not entirely sure. But, no matter. Let's now do... Hmm... Uh, 
I wonder if we can really do that. Oh, we can't pull it right, of course. <laughs> Five times bore up. Let's pull it as far up as we can. There we go. Now, two times bore right. Should move the arm. Hmm, didn't. Let's uh, do bore left. That one does not move. I wonder why. Is it because of these frames somehow? They have energy. Are they even trying to run? I'm gonna have to take a look at this and see if I can find what's causing it. I'll be right back. There we go. It was actually a panel that I missed. So let's do 15 times bore left. I want this to be the initial position for the machine, so... And it's moving along. Everything seems to be sticking to the machine. Perfect. We could probably move it another one or two. I think. Doesn't seem like we can move it further left. It doesn't really matter though, but it should be able to. Did I forget to remove a cover on this one? No, I didn't. There's nothing in the way. Very odd. Anyhow, that one there, that solar power, uh, solar energy thing should keep that charged. However, for these two battery boxes, we are going to have to put in some sort of energy collection. And I'm thinking right here. So I'm going to go to this one and grab some more frames if I have them. I don't seem to have any frames. Well, it's a good thing I have an automated crafting system that can build frames for me. So I'm gonna request up... Uh, I don't know. How many should I request? And where are they? Frames, where are you? Am I just blind? There they are. Let's get two stacks. And Whoa. Missing sticks and possible crafting loop. Let's not make that many at a time. 64 at a time. And we'll wait. And I'll be right back once it's done. While waiting, I figured we can just go ahead and craft up a couple of these nice little solar panels. Let's make four. That's all I have materials for now. Perfect. And we're going to need to have some blue alloy wire. And I don't know what else we need. Um, we have covers. We need panels. Do I have any in this here? Got covers. Got brick panels. Got some stone slabs. There we go, some panels. Gonna need to make some more of those, so I'll go ahead and grab, yeah, let's say 16 of those.
because 16 is a full stack of panels. Perfect. And we're still waiting for those last couple of frames. We should be arriving any moment now. So, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so, we have sunrise and some angry spiders. Now, some dead spiders. And what are you guys are you? doing up here? Go away. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, we can't have them there. So, I will build, since our solar panels Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. And uh, there and there. It's a bit of a roundabout way of pulling these wires around, but hey, it works. I think. Actually, that's not gonna work. So let's put a panel there, and uh, that's going to work. Now I can make this solar panel array here. I've got four of them. So let's put one, two, three, and four. And these should connect nicely, and now my solar panels will be kept charged. I wonder, though, if this will interfere. It probably will, so let's um, do this the safe way. Before you guys say, you know you can charge that up. Yes, I know, but... Um, charging up that morning star creates holes in the world. I have tested this personally. <coughs> Not intentionally, though. Perfect! We got power. Now, let's um, create a cycle. Why can't I move it more left, though? This is very odd. I don't know. Let's uh, see what happens if we move it. Now I can't move it right. That's very strange. Huh. It is connected, but it's connected correctly. Do I have panels where I should have covers? I'm gonna have to figure this one out and I'll be... Oh wait, I can see what the problem is. These guys don't have power. That could explain it. That's embarrassing. So, let's do this and this, and hopefully that should charge them up. I hope. No? Hmm. That should charge them up, really. Don't be a pain now. That one has battery charge now. Why does that one not charge? Now it does. Okay. The question is, will I need to have frames there? And on the other side now? Probably. So let's grab some panels 
and rewire this just like so. That should work. All right. Now it can't go any further left. No, it can't. So let's do 16 times for right. I think that should be as far as I can send it. And that's 10. I can actually do 17. But since 16 is such a nice number, let's uh, knock that last one down and move this one more right. This is as far as it goes. Now 16 times bore left and I'll do this off camera. Alright, it's looking good. I can put that away now and the bundle cable since most of this will be about programming now. So some covers. I might need some of this at some point but not now. Let's uh, put away this mixed loot that I've acquired. Like the eyes and... yeah. There we go. So... Now I want to define a cycle. Um, let's see... I'm going to hmm just gonna check I do have some free space which is good I might actually need to have a ROM module RAM module at some point but I need to define another command dig which will be 16 IOX set Ten ticks, sixteen IOX reset, ten ticks. How's it looking now? Okay, that should be good. Tick. If I do it like this. All right. Yes, this one I haven't actually plugged in yet, so. I'm gonna need a couple of these, a couple of these, this one. Also, I'm gonna need the yellow insulated cable. I'll put it there. Panels on top and the wireless transmitter and this rain is killing my frame rate ouch oh well yellow and we can choose that one perfect now let's try that again so I got that one so I do dig and it activates that should be enough time for it now a cycle is to move 16 times for right and dig. So the question is, can I do? Let's do it three times for right dig. Okay, no, you can't. So I need to define a command. This command will be right dig. 
it basically it basically only does bore right dig and that's it and another one is left dig bore left dig now do we have free space we do let's try right dig and it activates it does activate very slowly but I should be fine so let's try left dig now it updates very slowly I wonder why I have really low FPS as you can see 14 no oh, 24 hmm yeah we'll see now I'm gonna dis define the cycle a cycle is starting from the left do 16 times right dig yes um then bore down do a dig and then 16 times left dig followed by a bore down and a dig I think this works let me try that out it's in its correct position so let's do the cycle it goes to the side and digs goes to the side and digs goes to the side and digs and keeps doing this until it reaches the end of the cycle the good thing with this is I can just redefine the commands to have shorter delays if I want them because maybe that dig period won't be needed I don't know now it went down dig This is actually working. Cool. Very cool. Though the updates are very slow, it could be because of the rain. And it should be by the end now, soon. just one more to the right well left in that case and then it will go down one dig perfect how many extra do I have in there let's put all of them in there because what I want to do now is to craft up a couple of more of these block breakers I want to make it 10 on each Let's make it 16 on each. So let's uh, do 4 times head up. Oh, oh. Times bore up is the command for that one. perfect okay but before we do anything remember that blank disk that I put in here let's just save quarry system I 
name it query sys because this will include the system commands. And it's saved. Now if I were to halt this one, eject the disk drive, reset the computer, now I can't type anything here. Let's press start. And let's check the words. I still have them. It's because I didn't do a reset. And we wait for a moment. And now we start. Still have those commands. Reset. Hmm, that's odd. Oh well. Yeah, I still have them. Point is, I can easily boot from this one. So if I reset and then start, it should boot up using the disk drive. And we get the words. That way, when I get more words, I can just save them to that one. Alright, so I'll craft up these machines off camera. It will take quite a while, I think. So I'll see you in a while. Now isn't this a really nice vacuum cleaner? So... Let's do a couple of cycles, shall we? I'm going to need to have frames here, though. Or I will regret this quite... Uh, I don't need to have covers on these, so... Let me just try a few commands. I want to see that it actually works. Also, remember, remove house. <laughs> Let's do dig. And it pulses. Bore right. Dig. Bore left. Bore left. That's all. Bore down. Bore down. Nope. Dig. Did we actually break in the blocks now? Yes, we did. Let's um, bore right. Dig. And it should be going through the pipes. I am pretty sure that the pipes will work all right with the. Uh, with the frames. So our house goes safe from that thing. But this one needs to go. No, this is fine. Let's just for the sake of it do two times bore left. Okay. It's where it should be. Now Let's do four times cycle. And I'm just going to watch this for a while and see that it digs out and doesn't break or anything. And uh, yeah, and we'll take a look at the devastation it can create. <laughs> this will be good. All right, see you in a bit. So we got stuck on this flower here. Yeah. So I pulled the whole thing up one and uh, I decided to start the cycle uh, all over again. But this time we start higher up which means that we shouldn't get stuck because these things should get broken by the block breakers. Should, I hope. So let's try again. Five. Let's do five times cycle. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it to do this off camera. Look at it. It's happily digging. 
It's digging a 16 by 16 hole in the ground, really. It's so much better once it gets to the goodies down there, because right now it's slowly but surely filling this chest up with dirt. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not fond of dirt. I have too much of it already. But look at this. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm really happy that I spent the time and the resources on this machine because it will repay itself. I am very sure it will. So, I haven't coded in the movement commands yet, which is fine. I'm going to do that once that is going to happen because that's not going to happen just yet. Oh, look at that. It can now dig and it doesn't get stuck. That's awesome, guys. All right, so um yeah, I'm going to let this run a full cycle and we'll see how far it goes. Look at that. Our first resource is being vacuumed up by this machine. Very nice. Let's take a look. And it's slowly filling up. And there it is. Coal. Woohoo! never thought I'd be that excited about coal. <laughs> so, I think this is a very good place to end this episode. 20 episodes, guys. That's uh, quite nice. I uh, will keep on building on this one and expanding it a bit. I don't think I'm going to expand it down anything. However, I'm thinking about... Well, down, out, I mean. But I'm thinking about adding two extra on each side. So the cycle is shorter but more block breakers. We'll see how that works out though. Um, it might not be optimal but yeah we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah I'm going to hook this one up to my uh, main base. Oh I'm gonna grab as much of that dirt as possible because this is filling up rapidly. And uh, yeah, I'll leave this one running. It shouldn't have a problem if I go away because of the world anchor, but just to be sure, I'm going to move it and put it down here. So... There. Oh yeah, my inventory is full. There we go. Let's place the world anchor just... This one is not outside of that block area, so let's just put the world anchor up here for now. Gonna have to remember to move it later. Yeah. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!